Okay, so we have an animation here, control enter. And we want to uh, actually export this as a uh, movie, uh, or as well as a SWIF. And so we press control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out. And say you have some kind of animation, I'm just gonna um, right click the, the canvas using the selection tool, choose document properties. I want to create a black kind of intro video so there's a black background. Change the frames per second to roughly the same of your video so 30 frames per second is pretty standard. Video quality, I'm just going to use the same size as a typ typical high def, 1280 by 720, not quite total high def but good enough for our purposes. And I'm going to use highlight the whole section here. Going to move everything over all together so it's nice and centered in the video. Just pay attention to the actual text and that looks uh, pretty good here and when I press control enter my video looks pretty good this is the video I want and let's go to well, we can save it file export and when you go export movie this is what we want uh, we'll just export as an MOV file a, a video file but think about the possibilities uh, QuickTime MOV is a pretty universal format that uh, works very well with other video editing software. So the idea of creating animations within Flash can be mixed in with you know, Premiere Pro or After Effects and all these other uh, videos of choice. The idea of you can use whatever tool is best uh, for the purpose or whatever tool is you're, you're the most experienced with. Uh, the end result people don't really care. The standard uh, Swift file is the animation that uh, Flash creates. It's a, a Swift file is the standard. However, notice how we can choose uh, what we want to do. And I think that uh, if we export as a MOV file, let's export it to the desktop. And just uh, click on uh, OK, export. It's going to take a while, but eventually uh, it's going to be there on our desktop. So congratulations. you know you now know how to actually get this um, file uh, and now you can just go to file import in any other video editing software